hey guys welcome back to ask hr still your channel for authentic hr content it's really great and exciting to come your way again i know it's been a while but i'm excited to be here today i want to take this opportunity to wish you all a happy new year a very prosperous and fulfilling one I hope you enjoyed your holiday season and are fired up to enter the work period again. So as is the practice for many people, before the year runs out, you sort of put down your new year resolutions. But I want to challenge you today that in 2023, how about having a daily resolution instead of just a new year resolution? Because hey, you realize that you've done that over the years so many times and then december arrives and you realize that you barely scratched the surface of that list and so what you want to do is to have resolutions daily new year resolutions are great i have one too but have daily resolutions so you wake up today this is what i want to fulfill for the day and if you're going to bed and realize that I've not been able to fulfill that or I was able to do part of it, you wake up tomorrow, you have a fresh start, a blank page, and then you work at that same goal again until you are able to realize it. So I'm saying beyond your new year resolution, you have a daily resolution that you are working at. I had the privilege of interacting with so many working people over the course of the holidays. And a ton of them are saying, hey, I took extra days outside my holiday break because I'm not sure if I want to go back and do this. You know, I'm still trying to figure it out. I don't enjoy my job. I hate my job. My job is terrible. I just don't like it. I, I wish I had another option. Then I wouldn't have to go back there again. But that's what you have today. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to develop a positive attitude towards your job because that's what you have today and whilst you have it you might as well enjoy it so what are those things that i can do to be able to develop a positive attitude towards that same job that i think i want to walk away from so tip number one how about becoming a solution oriented person rather than someone who always is the one spotting the problems it's great if you are spotting the problem so you prefer a solution but if it's just finding fault with everything and everyone hey you put yourself under so much stress in that work environment you know people avoid people who always have something negative and terrible to say about everything because you are emitting negative energy which doesn't help in the workplace so i'm saying become that person this year in that same job the one you were complaining before going on your christmas break and the one you are resuming or have resumed to okay so that same job becoming the people already know you are someone who complains about everything and so they use the other door when they see you coming through you want to decide consciously that i'm going to be someone who sees and answer in every problem and the, the reason i'll spot a problem is because i want to prefer a solution i once heard a great man say that if you are able to spot the problem it means you have the answer in you and so what do you have to do you just have to generate that answer from inside so that you'll be known for someone who solves problems than someone who just complains about them tip number two what do you think about adjusting your language you know words form language right and words are very powerful words can create energy in a particular environment and right now we are talking about your job your career where you find yourself right now maybe you have a direct report a supervisor or even colleagues and you are known for someone who has you know a sharp tongue or maybe your words are not very empowering these are very little changes but they are powerful if you be able to implement them so you decide that hey instead of using words maybe your subordinate did something you didn't like he's underperforming she's underperforming and it's affecting you know your job 
Use words that pull people up. Use words that encourage people. Use words that you know can create the change that you want to see. Because when you are always you know talking down at people or responding to people in a harsh manner, what happens is that they are creating a certain environment that people don't want to come to. That's when you see people calling in sick and all of that. All these you know negative. Um, behaviors and attitudes affect the work culture is the reason why you probably don't like the work environment and are dreading going back to it so be the change you want to see adjust your language don't complain about everything you know try to see the the good in some of the things that happen in the workplace and as you learn to change your language you begin to see that those changes will affect you know the things that are happening in your environment and for the purpose of this video i'm talking about your workplace tip number three gratitude and appreciation do you know that there are hundreds and thousands of people out there who are looking for opportunities and are not getting it like people are looking for jobs I, I'm currently hiring for some roles, you know, so I know anytime I put a job out there, I have hundreds of people applying in minutes. That should tell you how many people are job searching right now. They wake up in the morning and they have nothing to go to. You wake up in the morning and you have a job to go to. Can you start by being grateful for the fact that you have a place where you are able to contribute to make a difference? Now, if you are not even thinking this way, that is a problem you're not going to the job because they are going to pay you some money you are going to the job because you have an opportunity to create change you have an opportunity to make a difference so be grateful for it and when your heart is filled with that gratitude or appreciation then you extend it to the people in your environment okay so you go to work your subordinate does something or produces a report it's not up to your standard and instead of saying thank you first of all before giving your feedback you just you know talk the person down and all of that forgetting that you are not at the same skill or competency level so develop an attitude of appreciation and gratitude number four learn how to reward yourself and celebrate small successes so we are driven people, right? We, we have goals and things we want to attain and achieve on a daily basis. But hey, sometimes stuff happens. You realize that the, the business day closes and you are not able to achieve everything. But you achieved some. If you are able to celebrate those successes, they are propellers to be able to focus on the big picture and keep moving towards your end goal. So instead of focusing so much on all the things you couldn't do learn also how to celebrate the things you were able to achieve that day <laughs> finally we talked about what um new year resolutions and daily resolutions right yes now these goals are not going to achieve themselves or these goals are not going to realize themselves i read somewhere the author said that you don't rise to the level of your goals but you fall to the level of your systems okay so the goals are going to give you a direction but the systems are going to help you achieve those goals so the goal is not just to read a book but the goal is to become a reader for example what are those systems that you are going to set in place to be able to realize those goals now I'm excited about this particular point because some of our subsequent videos are going to be talking about some of these strategies. That's why you cannot miss any of the videos that we are going to be putting out this year. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you share this video with everyone. If you've not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Join the tribe, invite others to subscribe as well. Please like and share this video and see you in my next video. Thank you so much.